out here we are reading the hand of an artist we are going to see what does it look like how does it feel is it strong soft warm hard different different things these are the things we are going to see and uh, the artist we are referring to is murakami takashi uh, he is a japanese contemporary artist uh, his work is in fine art media such as painting and sculptures as well as commercial media such as fashion in commercial media it is such as fashion merchandise and animation and is known for blurring lines between high and low art by high art means very uh, contemporary kind or uh, and low art means something like these commercial media this is what we are referring to this is known as the lower art compared to uh, that creative kind of uh, art we we are we are referring to so we move on to the hand and uh, we find first of all just take a look at both the hands you would notice that the structure of the hand is very good by structure we mean the bone structure that you see out here and uh, the skin covering over it is uh, look at this area this is highly prominent this is the mount of mount of venus uh, venus is the area of grace venus is the area of grace and uh, and beauty and uh, uh and it makes a person uh who knows good taste this is what this area basically depicts and if a person has got uh got, got a prominent mount of venus by prominent we means a large padding over it it is considered to be good and at the same time if this large padding uh, combines with lesser lines over it it makes it even better some people what they have is that uh what they have is that there are many uh these kind of lines that you see criss crossing kind of line those are basically bad considered to be those are those, those aren't considered to be good because what it does is that it makes a person like uh i use his ne energies negatively because this is the area of energies this is the area of grace so uh so that's not a good sign and uh, apart from this particular area the mount of venus we also find that this mount of moon is appearing to be having a good padding with lesser lines over it again it is considered to be good because this is the area of imagination visualization and romance so uh, so if if the if the mount of uh, moon is prominent the likelihood is that the person is likely to be having all these things all these qualities within him uh you would notice that the early period of the headline this is the headline uh when it touches the money line this is the money line so the age is approximately 35 here just after the age of 35 you would notice that there is a that the her, that the headline is like kind of plunging a little bit downwards not not too deeply but just uh, just the normal okay kinds so uh, downward trend of the headline means your the person's inclination moves towards from the practical side if the line was straight it would mean practicality so the line of head is moving from the age of 35 a little bit downwards so more of imagination and visualization compared to what was in the past so one of the aspects uh, is uh, is this and uh, uh, there's one uh, one one main line uh, that that is different from the other palm but this doesn't make him uh, famous due to this particular line uh, the heart line the, the heart line is kind of touching the headline like merging into it at this particular moment so merging of the headline Uh, merging of the headline with the sorry the merging of the heart line with the headline means that the person might have misplaced affections the person might be affectionate to 
those people who are not worth his affections and uh, the possibility of uh, being cheated are more uh, in, in this. Uh, there might be other aspects as well because this is the uh, because the merging uh, of the heart line is taking place under the mount of Saturn. Uh, Saturn basically depicts physicality, physical love, and uh, this is the area of money matters. This is the area of uh, uh, this is the area of wisdom. So any if the lines normally see what what these lines are is that. Uh, the normal position of the heart line is somewhere out here. It ends out here, either it, uh, either it ends out here or what it does, it, it kind of reaches the amount of uh, Jupiter. There could be, there could be a, like a kind of swaying kind of a line. Any line they, which is pointing towards the line uh, like the fingers is, is better compared to uh, if it is going a little bit downwards. Uh, towards uh, towards bas basically the base of the palm, you would say that the line is not kind of uh, going downward, but still uh, a normal position would be this, but it's going a little bit this uh, the opposite way. So it's not a, it's not generally considered to be good. Uh, and uh, uh, the other aspect uh, is that you would notice that uh, uh, you would notice that the structure is good and the person uh, is into sculptures also uh, that i have already mentioned uh, the person uh, the artist is into uh, in, into painting and sculpture so people who are doing sculptures normally they ha they should have stronger hands so you you notice that these hands are much more stronger compared uh, to uh, uh, compared to uh, other people's hand there's also a misconception uh, with people that the hands should be extremely slender in the hand of an artist. It is not so. These hands are, are much, much better compared to, uh, compared to very bony kind of hands, uh, feeble kind of hands. Those aren't considered to be good. You, 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 you notice that there's lots of padding out here. So padding over the skin makes a person rich. By richness, we do not mean that the person is uh, is full with money. Although this person is has got lots of money, but richness in content, richness of of taste, this is what we are talking about. And so this person has great amount of richness of taste, and uh, that's what that's why he's able to produce things which uh, th th that are in demand. And uh, uh, so th so this is one reason. Uh, we would move on to another hand uh, just for comparison sake I am showing uh, you would notice that uh, the the amount of Venus out here also you would notice that is very prominent and the side of the palm this is the amount of moon again this is prominent so both these mounts you see prominent in the hand of a movie star so movie stars you may say that it's different, like movie stars are different from artists, but but the uh, but the work is somewhat similar because uh, these uh, the movie stars are showing grace on the screen, and uh, the artists, the painters, the uh, sculptures, they are showing in in their form, uh, be it sculpture or be it paintings or be it. Uh, like uh, commercial art or any any place so uh, uh, this is one of the aspects you would notice one more aspect on his palm is that the head and the lifeline both are parted uh, it, it signifies that the person is rash by nature the person is outgoing by nature and the person uh, and the person is kind of uh, uh, the person basically uh, uh, the person uh, doesn't miss out on opportunities. So this is one aspect th that uh, that is represented on his hand. You also notice that there appears to be no sun line because everybody is looking for a career line and everybody thinks that if they have a career line, everything is going to be perfect and uh, they would be multi-billionaires or they would be super rich. Some, some people also commented on one of my videos that... Uh, uh, that it's all wrong because 
I am not showing any specific sign. Uh, like people think that if you just have a triangle of you, or if you have got a fish sign, so these are the signs people are looking on their palm when they are seeing these hands of personalities being read. Just take a look at it. You you would notice that uh, that there is absolutely no sunline out here. No sunline does not mean no career. Try to understand. No sunline does not mean uh, 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 like no career. It basically just signifies that the possibilities are going to be unlimited. This is what is being represented when there is no sunline. Uh, but uh, as far as a triangle goes, yes, the person appears to have a triangle. If we just zoom in out here, we would notice that there is a small triangle that we notice with this particular line. This is the line that is going towards the Mercury Mount. Uh, the other is the money line with, that's going towards the uh, towards the Saturn mount, this area, and the headline. So the combination of these three lines, the technical expertise, technical expertise, the money line, and the headline, the thought process, the technical expertise, and the money part, these combine to give a triangle, and it is generally considered to be good, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the person might amass riches. So, uh, so the way to read is that the person has got huge amount of desires. This is the area of desires. That these, these could be that personal desires we are talking about, as well as the other kind of like desire to have a better life and grow and uh, enjoy their life. Everything like this is this is uh, the amount of Venus. So uh, he is getting everything. Uh, and at the same time, imagination part, full of imagination, full of visualization. That's why uh, people like him, uh, because he brings out things that are innovative. Uh, but uh, one last thing I would like to mention regarding his hand, uh, you would notice that it, see, we can't, uh, I physically can't feel his particular hand. The feeling of the hand also matters greatly. Uh, by appearance sake, it appears that probably the, the skin or the feel of the hand might be quite, quite firm and hard, uh, but it might be otherwise as well. Uh, if it is hard, it means hardworking nature. But if the hands become extremely soft and the possibility is that the hands might be extremely soft, so softer hands basically makes a person sensual. Their, their senses are basically highly active. So this part of the hand, we cannot like make out what it might be. Uh, there is a possibility, there's a 50% chance that there is a possibility that uh, the hands are extremely, extremely soft. See, normally artists, people, they have very soft hands. And uh, uh, we are not talking about the, uh, the skin feel. We are talking about the firmness part. Uh, and some hands, uh, if, if we touch, it, it feels like we are, uh, we are touching a feather, feather hands. So, uh, so if, if the skin and the feel of the hand is more feather kind, then the, the, our senses basically become uh, more prominent and we are able to sense things. We can sense things around us. We have that sense of smell, sense of taste sense of colors uh, because this is visual part. So uh, that's a reason uh, I would not be able to tell you. But probably if, if I might compare his hand to another person's, another artist's hand uh, who has extremely soft kind of thing, then the probability arises that uh, that person might be more into contemporary art or uh, other kind of art and not the sculpture part or the uh, or the basically the commercial angle part uh, so 
here I will just end my reading. Uh, I hope you like this particular video and if you like this video click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. I'll just, I'll just show another hand, just compare this is of somebody else's hand, how badly marked the hand is. Just for comparison's sake I am just showing it to you so that you know the difference between two hands. Uh, the Mars is also disturbed, the area of anger, aggression is also disturbed. Out here you would see that it is all neat and clean in uh, this particular artist's hands. Uh, so uh, one more thing I would like to uh, say is that I have got up my YouTube channel as well. If you wish to see my YouTube channel, you can take a look at it. and. Uh, I have like kind of categorized uh, videos according to uh, people like uh, people who have got Mars aggression like fighters. This is uh, there are 15 videos out here. Then there's uh, health related videos I have mentioned. Then there's headline related three videos. Then people in education line like people who are re really rich. Uh, those hands, uh, there are around 58 videos of those. And uh, so uh, these are different, different, you would notice that there are many, uh, uh, many different billionaires and uh, whose hands I've read, actors, uh, cricket player, artist, uh, Osho, actress. So these things you can you can uh, you can browse and uh, uh, thanks for watching this video bye and take care